Hello everybody, Intellect76, and today I will begin a new series that I'm going to start. It is uh, Sir Intellect and the Adventures of Tale of Kingdoms. It is a mod for Minecraft that lets you fight for honor and create your own kingdom. So to begin, I am going to do single player, create new world. I've already had a few of these made, but uh, the last one I did, I did not like the intro, so I am going to start it here. And if you see some cutting in and out of the video, it's because I'm going to restart this a few times in case I get the wrong one. So um, if I have to, I apologize ahead of time. And uh, here we go. Create new world. All right. When you're creating this, the first thing you want to make sure is that you don't move until a certain event happens. So I'll show you in a second here because you have like one or two seconds where you could start moving as soon as you spawn. But you don't want to do that. See, this is the box that you want to wait for. The Tale of Kingdoms, version 1.2. I forget the minor version, but that's okay. Uh, the great tides of darkness have come. The refugees have burned and ravaged the land, and it is up to you to save what is left. You are the last heir to the throne. The only heir. Heir. <laughs> the last heir to the throne. The only hope of the overworld. Your adventure starts here, hero. The guild will prepare you. Start in conquest. Also, a side note, remember to build outside of your kingdom unless the location is specified for you, so... Because you will lose it if you do it otherwise. Uh, and then it takes about 5 to 30 seconds for it to render up. And I will turn around and look and see... Make sure that... Oh dear. Yep. Alright. We will cut that out. Or maybe I won't. Here we go, be right back. And we're back. Sorry for the sudden transition, but I decided to start a new world and I didn't want to have to show you guys recreating it all over again. This world, uh, my landscape is definitely a lot better. It's still hilly, but the uh, starting area is quite uniform. It uh, doesn't have a sudden cliff dropping off right in front of the gate, so I don't have to worry about walking out and falling off or having the guards fall out and die because they fell down and whatnot. So. Um, what I'm doing right now is I'm collecting these roses and um, possibly any flowers too if I come across the uh, yellow flowers. But uh, I'll come out here and look and why did that happen? I think that's supposed to be over here. God, I had a multiplayer map that was kind of like that too where things that looked like they should obviously be over here were moved over there. And like the chunks were out of order or something, but I'm not going to worry about it. This has been the best world I've found so far for this game, so let's see if I can find some more red roses. Red roses are worth, uh, I believe, 40, it's either 20 or 40, 40, I think, yeah, 40 gold pieces a piece, so I'm already sitting at 400 uh, gold worth of, uh, these are worth 10 gold a piece. Alright, but I kind of pain about to collect, so I won't bore you a whole lot with collecting a ton of those. But I do need I want a full stack of red roses if I can. I'll spend my first day gathering those. Because I can buy some certain supplies, like armor and weapons and stuff, so and tools. I'd like to get some of those. You don't have to worry about crafting them. So you can buy them off NPC uh, NPC yeah, NPCs. <laughs> vendors, that's what I was looking for. Alright, any more red roses? We're off on the side of the guild chapter house area here. I suppose if somebody wanted to say role playing, I could say that, yeah, my uncles and cousins were all killed, and I'm the last heir to the throne, so I have to come and prove that I am worthy of becoming the king by earning honor. And in order to do that, I need to sign a contract and join the guild. I'm looking for some more red roses. Huh? Ooh, coal. I don't have any tools on me yet. Oh, wow, lots of coal. That is awesome. We're going to have to come back over here. Where are we? We are in the east. East of the castle. Okay, remember that. Remember that, intellect. you got to come back to the east side of the castle. Alright, we're at 16... It's uh, almost 800 gold. Alright, there's 800 gold worth there. 
Meh. Uh oh. I think that is uh, not good. I think that is a portal. That's a reficle portal, I think. And they probably see me already. Oh dear. This could be bad. As if they start shooting their flames at me and catch the forest on fire. I don't want to lose all that wood. Oh my. I gotta make sure I avoid that. Eventually, I think I need to lead an army into there, but that is definitely not this episode, and I am not prepared for it either, so... Alright, we'll just leave them alone for now. Let's see, I think that's uh, a thousand gold pieces. I wish I had some shears on me. Of course, I don't really need wool in this, in this um, adventure. Come on, I need some more flowers. Preferably red roses, but we'll take that too. Wow, that was a little bit laggy. Mm -hmm. There's a cave over here. Oh, hello you. I'm not ready for you. Yeah, come on, little daylight. Yep, yeah, come on. Just stay a little bit right I'm surprised you didn't. Ow. Oh, he still hits pretty hard, even though he's on fire. He hit harder, huh? Oh, come on. Die, thank you. Alright. Oh, that was a waste. Supposed to be killing monsters just yet. Sorry about that. I had a phone call coming in on my phone. Not even sure who it was. They hung up before I could answer. Or maybe it rang too many times and I just caught it, so who knows. Okay, here's some more roses. Like I said, I'd like to get a whole stack of these. to get about $3,000 worth of stuff, so more if I can, but I don't want to be out here at night just yet either. Let's see, it's what, 2400 I think? Uh, no. 3200 Sweet. Where am I getting my math? Jeez. Just over 1200. Not counting the old flowers, of course. It's 360, 380. I like I think I need at least 50 of them in order to get 2,000, if I'm remembering my math skills correctly. Whoa. And we're back to the beginning, towards the entrance of the guild chapter house. And we'll go collect these and then we'll head in. I need to get my contract signed so I can begin earning honor. Okay. Eh, good enough. <laughs> All right, let's head into the guild chapter house and see what we got here. All right, here's the main courtyard. Some NPC guards in here, and there's oh, who, hello, who are you? Ah, oh, he's a survivor. Oh, so there's a village somewhere nearby with survivors, huh? We may have to go look and look for some of those. And here is the, I believe, the inn keeper or the housekeeper as they call it here. I can rest in a room or I can wait for the night which is kind of nice because then because that's when the monsters spawn. City builder, I am not yet worthy. Okay. And a guard. I, I don't know if I give him a wooden sword we could have a sparring match, huh? Yeah, I don't have a wooden sword and I'm not interested in that right now. Here's the platform area here. And this is uh, some kind of lounge room or something. I'm gonna go find the guild master so I can sign my contract. I'd like to start earning some honor. Yeah, it looks like I need to get some food. Alright. Sign up my contract. Thank you. And uh, here is the main um, 
progress bar of your game. Um, as soon as you get enough honor, you will be eligible or worthy to start your own kingdom. So I'm gonna work on that. You can also hire hunters and um, supply wood to fix the guild if it's ever damaged from any events like that refugees that you saw. Um, they could potentially at some point come and attack this place. So, all right, that's enough of that. We are going to go find a couple of uh, vendors and sell off these flowers I have. Sell. Sell. If I s wow. <laughs> and here's a library. Okay. That's not where I want to go. Um, first, I need to go get some food because my guy is uh, very hungry. And that is not the right way. I need to go over here. I think this is the right way. Yes, because the main entrance over here and down there is, I believe, over the kitchen area. Yep, okay, here's the uh, dining hall. That's the word I was looking for. Dining hall. I, was I did a recording earlier and I could not remember what to call this. I kept calling it the common room, which maybe that's correct too, but dining hall is what I'm more familiar with. And here is the cook vendor. Uh, first, before I can buy anything, I need to... It's funny that cork pork chop costs as much as bread, or the same price, even though it's better. I'm going to sell off my red roses. I'm going to sell one, and yes, it's 40 gold. So I'm going to sell off the other 47, 1920 gold of that. And one of these is worth 10 gold, so there's another 460. Saplings are worth 8. Yeah, eight a piece and seeds. Um, not worth anything. All right. Oh yes, I need to buy some food off you, please. Hey, get back here. Uh, how about some cooked pork chop? I'll buy sixteen of those. And just pop into my inventory. There's sixteen. Let's move that over to the right slot. Click, click. Click, click. All right. Let's head over to the blacksmith. I think I can get down this way without too much damage. I need to eat. Yeah, maybe that wasn't such a good idea. <laughs> all right, let's head over here. And let's. Uh, all right. Um. Eventually, you will probably want to come and visit this gentleman. He is the banker, where you can deposit some money and withdraw some money. So, but I need to buy some supplies, so I will keep my money on me. There's some more flowers that I could get. And this gentleman here is a farmer, and every so often he'll give you one piece of free bread. Which, oh, whoopty, that doesn't last me very long. Alright, and here is the blacksmith. Um, as you can see, you can buy all sorts of tools and weapons, and as well as armor. Which I'm going to want. I'm going to buy a tonic and some pants and leather, unfortunately, but they cost, as you can see, it's already chewed up a good part of my gold, so. One iron pickaxe, iron shovel, and lastly, an iron sword. I also want some arrows. How much is the bow? Wow, bow is 450 gold. Uh, I think I'll buy my own, thank you very much. Uh, let's see if I can buy four Let's see, one full stack of 64, and what else do I need? Oh yes, an axe. Can I get an iron axe? No, how about a stone? Stone axe, yes, I'll buy a stone axe. Alright, let's get my armor on. At least I'll have half my, uh, excuse me, a quarter of my armor. Wow, that leather is not very worth very much. Alright, and my sword.